What's going on everyone, it's your rifle here, and in today's video I'm going to be going over my three Nightfall rewards that I got this week. There was no burn this time for this Nightfall, so that can always be kind of annoying because I like having burn, I mean it actually helps out a lot. But before I get started with this, if you could, remember to take a wee bit of your time and leave a like and or share the video if you're feeling really generous with your old rifle. It is much appreciated by me guys, you guys know how much it helps out my channel, and for that, can't thank you all enough. So let's just go ahead and get this on the road. Starting off with my hunter, I am hoping for those bones of EAO, and unfortunately, I did not get them. I got something pretty close to them. Yeah, I know. Joke's on me, and the reason why I say they're kind of close to them is because they're both made out of bones. As you guys can see, I got the young Amakara's spine. Something I did not want because I already had them. And basically, these gauntlets help with grenade use. They have a perk called Ashes to Asset, which this helps replenish super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade. And also, they have a perk on here that makes trip mines last longer when placed. So that's always beneficial. You guys know how annoying trip mines are, especially if you are not a hunter and you run into trip mines quite a lot. They make a lot of players rage. Anyways, these gauntlets also have special weapon loader, which increases the reload speed of all special weapons. So that's also something pretty beneficial out of these gauntlets too. Overall though, it depends on your grenade style if you actually want to use these gauntlets. If you do get a lot of grenade kills, then maybe these gauntlets would help you out. If you see this being more useful than the Aquafid Symbiote, which basically what that is, it makes you gain one additional golden gun shot. The reason why I'm going over the Symbiote is because, well, these are meant for the Gunslinger class. So that's just another exotic that is well suited, the Aquafid Symbiote. But I guess it comes down to, are you going to actually want these over them? Eh, that's where your opinion comes in. I'm not going to say these gauntlets are bad because they're not. They have a good combination on them with perks because the Ashes to Asset helps you replenish super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade. And also, as you guys know, these gauntlets also help improve the trip mod. So that's a good combination. Anyways, that's enough about that exotic. As you guys can also see, the truth was dropped. And this is a very nice suited rocket too. Especially in the Trials of Osiris because it has some deadly tracking. I mean, this thing heat seeks enemies. It goes around 90 degree turns after enemies and everything. I mean, it's crazy how much the homing works on the truth. So yeah, the truth is actually a pretty decent rocket. It is highly underrated just because of how high the Gallahorn's rep is. But don't let the Gallahorn belittle this exotic. The truth is actually a pretty decent one. And as you guys can also see, the anomaly was just helping out. Didn't know he already did the nightfall, but hey, it's always nice to see players help out. I just randomly invited this player from my messages just because I seen he wanted to play. So I was like, hey, you want to try the nightfall with us? And boom, when he finished, I found out that he already did the nightfall. So that's nice of him. But anyways, as you guys can see, once again... I have failed for my hunt for the Bones of AO. They did not drop for me once again. Daggone it. It's one of the main exotics that I want. Anyways, let's go to my next character and check out the rewards that I got with the Titan. As you guys can see, the Crest of Alpha Lupi dropped for my Titan. And I actually needed this chest piece. So, hey, that's nice. I didn't have this for my Titan. So, yay. Woot woot. And in case you guys don't know what this chest piece does, well, basically, it helps you revive your teammates faster. And your teammates can revive you faster. And let's just say that little bit of time that this helps with revive helps a ton. This is very beneficial in any game mode that requires a revive when you die. And guys, especially in the Trials of Osiris, this is handy. And not to mention, it's also handy in the Nightfall too. The quicker you get revived or you revive, the better. Especially in the heat of the battle. You just don't want to stand over the orb and just sit there because you're an easy target. Keep that in mind. With the Crest of Alpha Lupi, you pretty much can just run right across their orb and revive them while just running across their orb. Which is great like Frosted Flakes, if you ask me. But anyways, as you guys can also see, Capone got the 1-1 one -one Synesthete. And this is actually not a preferred scout rifle. I see it dropped all the freaking time. Overall, though, it's decent looking. But in the end, I can't say much because I never actually played with this scout rifle. But I've heard a lot of bad about it. So I guess I'm just going to go with what other players have told me about this scout rifle. And it's bad because, once again, I've never actually upgraded the scout rifle. So I can't give you, like, a clear analysis from my point of view because I've never played with it. I'm just giving you the advice about this scout rifle from other players. Anyways, enough about that. As you guys can also see, the etheric light was dropped from the Mexican turd. Oh yeah! Etheric lights are always nice, especially if you feel like rearranging some weapons and getting some nice perks on them and upgrading them. Etheric lights are always nice to have. But that's all the rewards on my Titan. Up next I have for you guys the Warlock rewards. I really don't need much exotics as far as my Warlock goes. And as you guys can see, after I just got done talking about the Etheric light, what I get for doing it with my Warlock, I get an Etheric light. Which, hey, I don't mind getting these whatsoever. I actually need these. As you guys can also see, the patience and time was dropped for Capone. And he already had this sniper rifle, but 
All in all, this sniper rifle is a very nice freaking sniper to have. The reason why is because when you zoom in with the patients in time, you turn invisible. So that has always been official, and if you guys didn't know, if you turn invisible in the PvP world, you actually get off the radars. So that's always something nice to know. And also not to mention, patience in time destroys in the PvE just because of that invisible perk it has. The name of this exotic definitely suits it well just because of that perk. Anyways, as you guys can also see, a primary legendary engram was dropped from a Mexican turd, and let's just say this engram was a turd. Turd got poop from this, if that makes any sense. But that's about wrapping up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the gambling of these Nightfall rewards. Rewards. These are always nice to watch because it's always something new for the rewards. But I'm out of here though everyone. As always remember to leave a like and or share the video if you're feeling really generous with your old rifle. It is much appreciated by me guys. As you guys know, the support continues to help my channel grow and for that I can't thank you guys enough. As always remember to stay safe out there everybody and don't sleep in pee. Peace out.